Hello and welcome once again to the Vertimax Vibe podcast. My name is Al Merez. I'm going to be your host today, being joined here once again by Steve Leo, one of the Vertimax Master Trainers. And today we're going to kind of conclude our, our talk on uh, high school athletics and, and the athletic departments and programs and kind of reviewing all of those different things. And today we're going to talk about the keys to being a successful athletic director. And Steve is a coach, uh, as we mentioned in an earlier podcast. Steve's a coach, a, a teacher, a strength coach, a track coach. So he's in the, the space, in the world. So he brings a lot, a lot of knowledge to this area. And so, Steve, if you would, like, let's talk about, you know, how to be a successful athletic director. Well, it's, it's funny. The school I'm at, I'm on my third athletic director in six years. So it's been, it's been interesting. Um, so you probably have seen some that have done well and some maybe that yeah, have, haven't I, done? Yeah, I think, you know, the, our predecessors did well, and, and now we have a new one who just came from college. I think she's doing a great job so far. I think the main thing is they need to have an understanding of what the coaches are going through on a daily basis. I think that's the biggest key because I think every school is probably different. You know, we're a private school, so we, we operate differently than a public school. Sure. So having that understanding of what the coaches are going through I think is really important for the AD. You know, listen, I think their position is different. You know, it's not – just um, someone who deals with sports. They're dealing, it really is a business type position. So I think if they have a good business sense, that helps. They're managing a budget, you know, they're making decisions on buying uniforms and equipment and yeah. paying staff. They're hiring coaches, which is just like running a business. You have to sure. interview them. So I think if they have a little bit of business sense, I, I think that's a big help. Obviously being good in sports, but they don't need to know every sport. That's what the coaches are hired for. Correct. But I think they need to understand how to run that department like a mini business I, yeah, think, yeah. I think that's a important attribute to have and to hire a good team and having good coaches and support staff to help run that business that business uh is beneficial yeah. and i guess you know one of the key things would be communication right and yes. and having that open communication with your staff yeah I, I think the more communication you can have with your staff the better i mean we're all coaches and teachers so we're running around all day long in and out of classrooms out of gyms so we don't have time to always sit down and, and have meetings you know that's yeah. the one thing we don't have a lot of meetings because we just can't so, you know, our new AD has been doing a great job. We're getting texts and emails constantly. You know, this game got canceled. We're moving this over here. It just helps us because now we know what's going on. And uh, I, I appreciate it. You know, the more we know, not that we need to know every detail, but if something changes, even if it doesn't affect us directly, let us know. Because if, say, a game gets rained out and a soccer team walks up and says, hey, can we get a workout in? If I didn't know that prior, yeah. I wouldn't be prepared for it. But now yeah. I know a prior. I even reach out to the coach. Hey, you can bring them up at 4.30. I can work with them. Yeah, yeah. And that's really been great. And the coaches appreciate that as well, that we're all working together. That's great. Yeah. Um, cool. We'll move down the list. Yeah. Uh, another thing is really kind of you know, having empathy and having that servant mindset as a, as a leader, as an as a athletic director. Yeah, I think you have to. You have to have that yeah. servant mindset. And I think that has to filter all the way down through your, through your staff, you know, your coaches, your sports staff. Um, and I think, hopefully, too, they were a former coach. You know, if they were a former coach, they kind of know what you go through. If they weren't a former coach, I'm sure it's a little different dynamic or learning curve for them. Yeah. But they had, if they know what you're going through as far as maybe going through a tough season or, um, you know, maybe you're, you're a young team or things like that, they, they can kind of work with you and say, listen, I know what you're going through. How can I help you? I think that's the best thing any – Forget AD, Boston City was, if they could say, how can I help you? Yeah. I appreciate that because I know they care. Yeah, yeah. You know, or, exactly or how are right. things going? You know, I think, believe it or not, that goes a long way for a lot of people. If you just ask them, hey, how's your day going? How's your week going? Uh, they might tell you more than you want to know at times, <laughs> but I think that's important for them. Does anyone know you care about it? Yeah, yeah. Just asking yeah. the question means a lot. Yeah. Um, that kind of kind of rolls right into our next one, and that's relationship building, yeah. you know, and uh, hit on that for us. and. Yeah. Well, they definitely have to build relationships with the coaches um, because coaches need to trust them and, and, and vice versa. Uh, and they also need to build relationships with the kids. You know, I, I've gone through a few ADs, and I think there were certain times where I know the kids would say to me, hey, I don't really know the AD very well, or I don't think they care about this sport as much as they care about the other mm -hmm. sport. And I was always kind of a little bit of a mediator. So, no, they care about everyone, but the perception sometimes is reality. Sure. So I think really take the time to go talk to the kids, go to their games, uh, I think it was great. There were times where ID would travel to an away game. I know they can't always leave the school, but they would travel to an away game and watch us, and we're like, wow, look, our AD's here. Yeah, and that really great. made the kids feel great. Like, look, they made the effort to show up and watch us at a you know, game that was a half hour, an hour away. So I think if you could do that, that would that, be great for the kids. Good. Yeah, and I think you know, 
always, being at the top, you don't always are, have an opportunity to know every kid, right? You're dealing with every kid on a daily basis. I do. Yep. So I think, you know, not only relationships with the kids, but also relationships with you to where if you hear things, you see things, you can kind of take it up the chain and, and talk to them about, you know, what you're hearing, what yeah, you're I've, seeing. Yeah, I've definitely done that. I've done that a few times. Like, hey, let me, this is what I'm hearing, what's going yeah. on. And, and they're thankful. And I think that's important too. You know, I'm not afraid to let them know what's going on. And I, I think hopefully AD is, you know, welcoming that. Yeah, that's you know? good. And uh, this next point is actually right on that. Like, don't take it personal. Oh, you right? can't take it personal. <laughs> I, that's should be rule number one of coaching. You right. cannot take things personal. Um, and I think, think same thing for an AD. I mean, yeah. unfortunately, you can't make everybody happy as much yeah. as you. Uh, that should be your goal. But there's going to be happens. a few people it's that aren't reality. happy for whatever reason. And, and you have to try to figure out a way to work through that um, and have a conversation. You know, but I think being vulnerable and, and being open to sit with someone and let them talk. The bottom line is that whether it be an AD in the school or in the business, let people express their opinion. Even if you don't agree with it, it's, yeah. if they feel like they're heard, I, I think that goes a long way. You don't even have to agree at that point. So listen, yeah. I hear what you're saying, but this is how we're going to do it moving forward. Are you okay with that? And it may not work for every kid. And unfortunately, some kids may change what they're doing, and, but th that's going to happen once in a while. Oh, that's yeah. the way it goes. You're never going to see eye to eye, and that's okay. Like yeah. Sometimes you don't want to see eye to eye with everybody. Because that's where your growth happens. So like yep. when you, you're like seeing other things and other other kids and other coaches uh, bring valuable things to the table. Yeah, definitely. All right, and the final thing we're going to talk about is promoting success and how important that is. I, it's so important for the kids. I think that's what, they, like I was saying with the, with the uh, games, that's where kids see it. You know, if you're promoting what they're doing, that means you believe in them. That means you care about them. Mm -hmm. And success is, is, a, is a big term, right? Because it could be success in a championship. But it could be just success of, hey, the program is new and it's, it's doing well, right? Yeah. It's moving in the right direction. Or, you know, at our school, we had a friend of mine just retook over the girls' soccer program. She was a soccer coach years ago. She was a former D1 player, but took time off. She had kids. Now her kids are grown. She's retaken the team back over. And I think they have maybe 12 or 13 kids on the team. Yeah. And they're ripping it up this year. Yeah, they're, I don't think they've lost in the last couple of weeks. And she was stressed out. But she's doing such a great job. And what's nice is now we're promoting that success. So th are they going to win a title this year? Probably not, but they've exceeded expectations. Mm -hmm. And I think success is, you know, it's in your eyes. The eyes of the beholder is probably the best yeah. term for it. And I think that's important that the AD recognizes that, that not every team is going to win a championship and if they're moving in the right direction. I could say for my track team, you know, we just had some good success individually on the team. We're not a big group. And we just had a great year and AD was so supportive. You know, hey, you're doing a great That's job great. and yeah. the kids are doing a great job and, and, and they're competitive and they're having fun and the parents love it. Guys, at the end of the day, not every kid's going to D1 no. a school and playing. It's just not what it is. Every kid should have a great high school experience and it comes from every level, AD, coaches, strength coach, athletic trainer yeah. is important. I think that it's all encompassing for that kid to have a great experience. Sports is so much more than about, so much more than about just winning wins and losses. It's, uh, yeah. you know, helping them get better for life, helping them learn how to win, how to lose, how to work well with others, how to build yeah. friendships, how to, you know, how to, you know, win with pride, lose with pride. Like there's so much more to. Yeah, to learning how than. to lose is probably. Oh you know, yeah. Have that to talk about, but learning how to lose is difficult for some people. Oh, it's yeah. not easy. You know, <laughs> celebrate their successes, but also learn from the mistakes. And that's yeah. okay. It's okay to fail a little bit. Honestly, I want my kids to fail. I tell them all the time, if I'm, if you're not failing a quarter of the time, I'm actually doing something wrong. Yeah. I need to stimulate you. I need to challenge you once in a while. So you change. If you don't get challenged, you don't, you don't change. So I think it's important for that's kids good. to know that. And then that's, to me, that's a success. Yeah. If you changed, you got better. That's a successful that's day, week, season, whatever you want to call yeah. it. So. Awesome, man. Well, thank you, Steve. I appreciate you coming and joining us. I appreciate it. Hopefully you got a little bit of information in there about becoming a, a more successful athletic director, if that's your role, or if you're thinking about getting into that role. As always, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you all for sticking around and, and listening to the latest podcast, and hope you tune into another one. Go out. Have a great day. Thanks.